So, a couple of months back, I started following this account. It was called the Corrupt Mustang. Walking around here, we came past the Odyssey battery stand, and guess what? I saw the Corrupt Mustang in all its glory and beauty. I'm about to introduce you to the owner. Tony, what's up? How are you guys doing? I I'm doing really, really well. It's super mind-blowing to follow an account from overseas, like our country, South Africa, and then you get to the United States, you come to the SEMA show, and you're like, wow, it's here. Yeah, it took, took a lot of time and effort, but we made it happen. Talking about time, how much time goes into the like a quality SEMA build like this one? Um, I think they kind of all vary depending on how many modifications. We have right around 4,000 hours in this car. I like things that are creative. I like, you know, when somebody will jump outside the box a little bit, try something new. It's the first time I've seen it. It's awesome. It's the first chop top Mustang I've seen. The car had a very sleek, uh, kind of European style feeling to it. So that's when we started searching for what we would do for a motor. And then we landed on a F430 power plant and decided it also needed a pair of turbochargers. <laughs> So in case you don't know what an F30 power plant is, it is sourced from a Ferrari. I'll just say that one more time so you hear it clearly. A Ferrari, this car's got a Ferrari motor V8 twin turbo. It's, who doesn't love a Ferrari engine, first of all? The Ferrari engine is very exotic. The motor's crazy. I am a purist, but I, this is growing on me. We purchased it through eBay. We found somebody that decided to trash an F430 and we bought the engine from a salvage yard. Um, the engine itself is fairly compact, so as far as from the size standpoint, we, had, we ended up having to move the shock towers out an inch just for clearance for the, the heads and the valve covers and trying to get some sort of an exhaust system on it. I like, you, you make it sound really simple. I just had to move the shock towers an inch either way. <laughs> we got this, it's simple. <laughs> Um, so we've, I've had the car for about 14 years. Um, we did, did a lot of work as far as exterior is concerned. We actually we cut the roof off the car, sectioned it into quarters, and took two, in, two and a half inches out of the height. To do that, we changed some other proportions on the car as far as the back's been extended two inches, the front's been shortened two inches. That was all done probably about 10 years ago, and then it sat, or, you know, ran out of time, ran out of money, had, had life came around and yeah. had no time for the car. Tony, thank you very much for being with us, man. Um, this car is absolutely just a work of art. It's actually one of the top three cars that I've seen here. I just wanted to let you know. It's also a little bit close to my because I've been following your account. So, you. man, blessings upon you. I hope you win a lot of awards. Thank you. Corrupt Mustang SEMA 2018. For tuning accessories and more on the local scene, AutoStyle has you covered.